Y'all want to see something cool? Look at this. You see my chest? Is it see-through right now? I was feeding my child some blended sweet potato and uh, spinach, and I guess the green spinach is making my, my shirt see-through because of the green screen. I thought it was pretty cool. You might think it's stupid, but whatever. Happy holidays, you all. I got a present for you all, and it's not a React tutorial. It's actually going to be another CSS battle video. So if you don't know what that is, CSS battle is a site where you can go on and practice your CSS knowledge by building these shapes that you will probably never use in your web development career. And for anyone else out there who's going through something hard in their life, just remember that God is good, my friends. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I want to build out is this little challenge. Seems simple enough. Um, this is what we're going to be building, this little pie chart thing. And on the left, this is what we have. So I'm going to type in some code here and try to replicate that. And bear with me, my table's not really sturdy. So if my camera's shaking, I'll fix it at some point, but it's not that, not that deep. All right, so to make this, let's start by just changing the background color. So let's go here. And I'm going to say make the body background of that. All right, we're almost there, we're almost done. All right, so now what we want to do is let's grab one of these colors and let's just style a, we'll make a, a rectangle called top left, okay? So I'm going to add a class to this div and call it top left. And I'm going to style that top left div like this. And I'm going to change the background color to that. So hopefully that looks pretty good to you all. Looks good to me. Um, and we also probably want to position it. So I'm just going to use absolute positioning because the last video I tried, I tried using like Flexbox and I failed. So I said, screw it. Let's just do absolute positioning. So I'm going to add a class called wrapper. Let's do that. I'm so used to autocomplete and CS code. So this is hard to code with. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to add a wrapper class and style that. And I'm going to say position of absolute. And for this, I could probably say position of relative in case we wanted to like move it around inside of the top div. And let's see if we can position this in a good like centered area. So I'm going to say left is 100 pixels and top is 100 pixels. All right, maybe not 100. Let's try 50. So let's see, does that look like it lines up pretty good? It does. It looks like we're spot on. So luckily, I think this canvas is 200 by 200. So it's really easy to position stuff with absolute. But if they ever change these things to be able to be like responsive, like we're screwed. So I think that works pretty good. All right. So what should we do next? Uh, let's just round the top left corner. Okay. And we could do that by just saying border top left radius. I think. Yes, there we go. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty cool. You just add a little bit of border top left radius and that'll round the top left corner. And by this point, you should know exactly how to build the other two things because we just built this one, okay? So let's make another div called bottom left. So we'll do bottom left and we could just copy and paste all this code because it's easiest to do that. Now the idea for CSS battle is you're trying to write the least amount of code and you get like extra points if you make your code really condensed. But I don't care about doing that because there's absolutely no point to doing that. <laughs> Unless you're minifying your code and like deploying it to production, there's no point to minifying your code to try to get some like cool points. Like, I guess there are, the main idea of this is to try to find new ways and concise ways to write your styling. But I think it's stupid. So I'm just going to what I'm going to do is I am just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what? I think I could probably full screen this so I don't have to see the top bar. That looks a little bit better. All right, so we have bottom left and what we could do is just copy this color and paste it right in there and what we could do instead of top left border radius what do you think we need to change well we probably just need to do a border bottom left wow that is looking slick all right so let's go ahead and copy this and make it top right and we could just style this again let's do some copy pasta here and copy that style and we could just uh do something with it Can i zoom in for you all is this too small is that good is that too big that's probably good i kind of hope my uh webcam's not blocking this but even if it is i mean you get what you pay for and you don't pay anything for this video so let's just keep on going so i'm going to say top 
right. And that is positioned all the way down here. So we need to probably, um, what do we need to do? We need to kind of give it like a, a left of 100 or maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So it's in the right position on the left side, but the top, it's not looking too hot on the top. So let's move it up to zero pixels and see what happens. That didn't work. 100 doesn't look good, so maybe 200. Cool. So yeah, we're almost there. I think we just need to change how we're doing the border. And so instead of border bottom left radius, we're going to say border, border top right radius. And uh, change that color here. And that's it. And look at that. I think that's a perfect match. Okay, so what we could also do is probably run this to a minifier to get those extra points. But like I said, I don't really care. So I'm going to go ahead and do submit. And let's see what we get. Yes, 600 points. You see here, it says 100% match. That means that we are awesome and we actually complete this 100%. And if you look at the leaderboards, the leaderboard is 733. So I don't know how he did that. There's probably some, if anyone knows how to actually view other people's submissions, like this is a pretty cool website, but you can't actually see the code that they submitted. So it's kind of stupid at the same time. I've tried logging in and making an account. I still can't see what other people submitted. So all the other challenge sites, usually you can view other people's submissions and actually like learn from what they did. But I guess that's too hard to implement for this little online application. All right, that's all I'm doing in this video. Uh, if you all, you know, I should probably sign in so I can save this stuff. I'll do that off offline. I'll just copy the code. So if you are all interested in seeing more of these, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. And also you can tell me which ones to do next. Like if there's something here that you actually want to see how to do, I could try to figure it out and do it for you all. I think a lot of these are just <laughs> border top, border bottom radius. Like this one, look, it's a square with a border bottom right and border top left. That's it. And then you do three of them. Straightforward. This one looks like it's just circles and then you have rectangles here. So that's cool. This one, you know, I don't want to give away the secrets. You need to tune in for the next video in this series if you're interested. So stick around and subscribe and happy holidays if I don't post a video in a while. Later.